So this is one of the ways I've been using to heal myself. It's called pranic healing. Um, it's the next thing. People don't know it yet, but it's the next thing. So um, I do it with this uh, crystal. It's, um, it's a very specific crystal. It's able to store energies, um, negative energies bad energies um it's able to help me heal myself even faster than using my hands um i've always been very sensitive to energies so i have an ability to sense energies between people um it's it's very uh it's very easy for me to do i've been very blessed with that um so when i found pranic healing in india um, people were like, you should do this because they, they sensed that I was able to do it, that I was um, very sensitive to energies and able to um, hopefully help others too. Um, but they say first, you need to help yourself. So as soon as I can heal myself, then I know that um, I'll be a, a good pranic healer. So right now I'm working on healing myself. So the first thing you do with pranic healing is that we have to, um, when you're doing crystal pranic healing, so the first thing you do is um, you have to give the intention. So my intention today uh, with this crystal is for healing, uh, specifically in my T4, T5 region. Um, and I got stem cells, so one of my intentions is also um, to help the stem cells grow and give them the energy that they need, uh, give them uh, all the nutrients, make sure the nutrients are going into the right area. So my intention today, well, with my pranic healing session, is to really um, get these stem cells going and make sure that the back is ready um, and uh, ready to grow uh, new nerve cells. So first thing we do is we scan the body uh, to see what chakras might be. So right now I'm visualizing my body in front of me. I always start with the front of my body. So I do some scanning to see if there's any uh, chakras that are either depleted um, or congested. I'm just in the beginning phases, so I don't remember all the names and the chakras. So I just use my intuition. The main thing for me is there's no thoughts in the mind. Thoughts in the mind just distract me from the whole process. So I don't think about what hurts or what doesn't hurt. I just feel and just really be like in the moment. So that way I can have a better sensation if I start thinking things then it's just a distraction from my healing process so right now um, the chakra that is actually above my head um, that one seems kind of congested Some on like the left area, there's some congestion. So congestion means that I can feel the negative energies is kind of, it's out there. Or if it's depleted, I would feel like it's missing something. Uh, the right hip area. So now I'm going to do sweeping. So there's five lines of sweeping. One goes through here. And usually when there's um, a decent amount of stuff that needs to be cleansed, it um, the crystal will just stop. Like it's not me doing the healing. The healing is coming from um, the universe. So it just stops where it needs to stop. I don't control it really. Um, 
I just feel where it needs to stop and it will stop when it needs to stop. So and then we have to have like a bucket of salt water um, to get rid of the negative energies. Uh, and you have a spray bottle of either alcohol or um, I have is it witch hazel, I think. Witch hazel, um, I like the smell of it more. So the bucket of water to drain the negative energies. Okay, so that was one line. And now the next line is um, the eyes right here. But you always wanna have your eyes closed when you're on the head. Uh, since I've been off for the pandemic, I've been able to like really focus on healing myself again. Um, so now I'm on the third line, which is the ears. So I feel like my, my aura has gotten uh, a lot better. Um, since I've been able to do the pranic healing every day on myself, um, the back pain that I have has gone away a lot. Um, I had a lot of pain because there was a lot of releasing. So usually with healing, you also will have a lot of pain. So now I'm going down like each shoulder section. I do these individually, but as you saw the other ones, I just do one line for both. But I like to go down the shoulder all the way down the leg individually. Sometimes I'll get distracted during my sweeping and I'll go right into an area that's congested um, just to, cause that's where my crystal stop. So I just start cleaning up the area. So you always wanna go counterclockwise to clean the area. I'm gonna go back later and energize and stabilize that area, but I'm not done with it. That was, I just got sidetracked. So now I'm going all the way down my um, uh, left leg. side of the aura of the body and cleanse it. So I always do it as though like I have my arms spread out. That's how I do it. So I'm getting all of the sides. And then I make myself like a little body. <laughs> it's however you want to visualize it. Nothing's right, nothing's wrong. Okay, now the sweeping, um, so the sweeping with the aura is that you're kind of, um, there's an aura that's going out through everybody's body. So I always use both hands with this because I really like my fingers, like I can really feel my fingers going through and untangling like the aura. Um, so that's, um, so I always use, even though I have the crystal, I always use both hands to untangle the aura. It's just, it, it just feels right. It's also a really good workout for my abs. <laughs>
when I uh, wasn't doing a lot of pranic healing, I, it was a lot for the sweeping in the beginning, and now I feel like it's gotten a lot better. And I can feel that the mower is less tangled. All right, so now I'm gonna focus on the front side and I'm gonna hit a couple of um, areas. Like I said, I was congested in the top. But also I'm gonna do a little bit more scanning. So I'm congested to where I'm connected to the universe. There's some congestion up here that is kind of in the way of me being connected. The main thing is, is like for me, is that I'm not thinking anything. Nothing negative, nothing positive. Just cleaning, you know? I'm not thinking like, oh, what's wrong with me? Why am I not connected? Blah, blah, blah. You know? The meaning like machine needs to be shut off. But I do feel that the crystal is absorbing, okay, the congestion. The congestion is just part of life. It's not negative, it's not positive. It's just what happens in life. We're all human. This is what happens. This is where we are. This is where we live. And that's okay. Now I'm going to energize these circle lights. Okay. And now um, I go to areas that I also know that I have pain uh, to relax the pain. So now on my front, I have a lot of tension like in the pec area from using the wheelchair all the time. So I'm going to clean up definitely like my right arm. And then the scalenes here have been worked a lot. Um, I'm kind of lucky because I majored in bio, so I know a lot about the body. So it really helps me visualize. So I need my upper body to be strong during my recovery. Um, So that it can support my legs for now. There's a lot of congestion. So I think about is the solar plexus um, chakra. Uh, that's a pretty common one to clean uh, the congestion from. And for me, all of the immune system is in the intestines. So for me, I think about it in that way anatomically. Um, I think about how that area needs a lot of love and a lot of care because that's where it's going to detoxify my body. So as I go through this recovery, this is the area that I know my body is really, it's been overworked for years now. 
Um, so really want to give it a lot of TLC, a lot of cleanup, a lot of, you know, support. And then I get a lot of urinary tract infections, so I'll also focus on um, the pelvic floor um, and by the bladder area um, to ensure that I don't get any more. Uh, and this really works for urinary tract infections, like, it's amazing. The only thing is, is sometimes I get really tired after and I just need to go to bed. Um, but that's okay. That's my body's way of telling me it needs rest for healing, which is <laughs> not always the best of listening to my body. So, uh, this has really taught me more to listen to my body so that I can really feel And during this process, sometimes I'll have like sensations. I'll get certain sensations inside the body, which is good because it's an indicator of uh, where I'm at and how I'm cleaning it and cleansing and detoxifying. It's really important to um, drink a lot of water, filter it all out. And then to make sure that the bowels are clean and having really good bowel Movements is also really huge for the body. So I'm energizing the solar plexus chakra and now I'm energizing the, I don't think it's called the pelvic floor chakra, but I don't know what it's called. So energize. Don't want to over energize stuff either. So we're going to stabilize. Hmm. All right, so now I'm going to move to the back. So I'm going to turn, and that's where I, I really focus a lot because that's where my accident was, and the shoulder blades broke, the spinal cord broke. Uh, fractured a few vertebrae in the neck area. So this one is um, really detail oriented. So I'm doing the same thing with the sweeping, really getting into those vertebrae up on the top, really trying to cleanse the toxins out of there. Uh, my body's gone through a lot and it's still going through a lot of healing. Um, so it's really important to give it this detoxifying process. Like right now, uh, my the crystal just stopped at like C4, C5. There's a lot going on in there right now. Um, so it just needs a lot of cleansing. Sometimes it doesn't feel that good when things heal. And that's okay because this is part of the journey in recovery. So if you're looking for a recovery that is painless, that's just not gonna happen. So it can be less painless. It can be less pain though. The more we move, the less pain we'll have. I can really feel like I'm really getting into the back right now. I can feel it kind of like even burning on like the left shoulder. Like it's really like getting in there, moving stuff around. This is where sometimes I have to take a nap after this. Luckily right now I have time to do that. 
um, since we're staying at home for the pandemic. So, now I'm getting into the lower thoracics. This one's pretty intense right here. I feel like it's sidetracked. I can feel it's just like heat, like all down the back, all down the sacral, the cranial, sorry, the vertebrae, all down the spinal cord. Mm -hmm. I got a lot with that one, that was... And then sometimes the uh, crystal will actually start to get heavy. That's when you know that you're pulling out a lot of toxins so now i'm doing my second line which is the eyeballs try to get it to pop here well it's the back of the head so it's not the eyeballs but or the eyeballs would be on the back of the head As I like to switch hands. shoulders my shoulders take a lot of the weight these days with the wheelchair and all my workouts and stuff so you have to do a lot Back part, my right hip is those little extra TLC. Like right now, like my whole back is so like numb, and it's like kind of the heat that's flowing through it, and there's like kind of a calm numbness that's just like flowing down it. it feels amazing. getting like into the neck and then tingling in the oral fields. I'm gonna free my aura, you know. Just really want it to feel free. 
universal energies for healing. thing with me is I really like accept whatever the universe sends as part of my healing whether it's pain whether it's new movements whether it's um, you know different sorts of pain um, the inability to do something or the ability to do something just accept everything that is The only way to move forward is to accept what is. So people don't always understand how I can be so motivated still and be in my condition. But I just accept what is. This is my life. I accept it. And that's the only way to move forward through it, is to accept it. So right now I'm going through the entire back um, just really cleaning up the back. Where oh, is the body? It wants to rest now, but soon, baby, soon.
and spend some time on the back of the legs. So, now the last thing we want to do is cut all the cords. We get attached to a lot of people in our lives. Um, the main thing is to get rid of attachment. You can be committed to people, but you don't want to be attached to them. So this gives us our freedom. So the people aren't because sometimes people get, they start sucking our energies. It's not that they want to bring us down, but they just, it, they just get attached. So, so we have to detach so that we can be free, so that we can have our energies and they can have theirs. And if they need to build their own energies, then they need to do meditation. They need to do the things that are right for them instead of somehow sucking our energies. So it's really important that we keep our own energies and we can give energies, of course, um, to people. We don't want to be attached to them. We want it to be in a moment in time, but not to be attached to it. So this is my pranic healing for my recovery. Thank you for joining me. <laughs>